SKA will be the largest radio telescope in the world. It will be used to understand how stars and galaxies formed and how they evolved over time. It might even detect life elsewhere in the universe. The Mail and Guardian joined a small delegation that flew to the core of the Square Kilometre Array radio telescope site in the Northern Cape this week. The purpose of the visit was to check progress on the site, inaugurate the newly built airstrip and give the UK Minister of Science, David Willits, a tour of the facility. It's very impressive, the amount of work that's already been done and the speed which now the South African engineers and technicians are working to really put it into shape. It is also very exciting to see Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, leading what is going to be one of the big science experiments of the next decade. And I think it's going to be a great boost for science in South Africa, across the whole continent, and we in Britain want to work with you on that. The UK is a major player in the SKA consortium, and the SKA headquarters is in Manchester. The SKA will be the biggest scientific uh, infrastructure in the world, though, for a start. So just the, that is the, just its pure scale, if nothing else, is, is exciting. But of course, it is the scientific results that we, we're looking for. So they're, they're, they're key questions that can only be answered by radio astronomy and only by big radio telescopes. So this is the one-off chance that we get to do these, these experiments. It's the only way to do them. For me, the, the exciting part of seeing a Greenfields project where there was literally nothing here. It was uh, a sheep farm previously. And to see the transformation from nothing on site to where we are now with the buildings, the dishes, expanding for Meerkat, and then also planning for the SKA going forward, that's, that's been you know, really exciting. So every time I come to site, you get this uh, good, great feeling that you can see things happening all the time and things are always changing. There is currently an operational telescope of seven dishes on the site called CAT7, and the foundations of Meerkat, the precursor to the SKA, are currently being laid. Now, when we started the project, we realised that we had to go through a sequence of prototype um, machines, engineering prototypes, so that we could actually learn along the way so that when we came to do Meerkat eventually and then SK after that, that we would have the most appropriate technologies. But also, all importantly, here in the Karoo, to show that, it, you know, that the site was actually a good site. So we could actually build things here, we had the infrastructure here, and we could do science here. Meerkat will start operations, uh, full operations, uh, in 2016 or so. It's expected that SK Phase 1 will start in around about 2018, perhaps a bit later. Meerkat will then also be the first 64 antennas of SKA Phase 1. So in a way you can say SKA Phase 1 is being built right now. SKA will be shared between South Africa and Australia with satellite stations in eight other partner countries, expanding the reach and capacity of the telescope in coming years. SKA Phase 1 is based purely in the Northern Cape in South Africa. It extends out to about 100 kilometres or so. But SKA Phase 2 is no, uh, 10 times as many antennas as SKA Phase 1 has. And the reason for going for, for bigger in that sense is that you get better resolution. It means that our, we can see finer things in the sky. This is fundamental science, first of all. It's getting absolutely tackling deep questions about the origins of the universe. But it's also linked to the advances in computing power and software that are going to be needed to handle all the data that's going to be collected by the Square Kilometre Array. Because they're going to have the flow of data that's collected here is going to be greater than the total flow of data across the web every day. That means we're going to need new smart techniques for handling very large data sets. They'll be developed here and they'll have a myriad of other applications. It's a challenge and it's a, an exciting project to be part of and it, I think it's quite an honour and a privilege and there's a sense of pride in our team um, just being part of this project and to see, you know, we've proved our capability to deliver world-class infrastructure for Meerkat and that's given the confidence now to the international community that we can actually build the SKA as well. So it's, it's been dynamic, you know, every day it throws its, you know, there's always challenges and it's just how we deal with those challenges.